Hey guys, what's up? It's Carba here, and today I'm coming to you with a new tutorial. Um, this is basically what are presets, and this is how to use them in After Effects. So basically, what I have here is a folder, and this is my uh, preset pack. It's on my cell file. You can check the description. I also have like a free 250 subscriber preset pack, but that doesn't have nearly as much stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here, and there's all these FFX files, and you probably don't know what those are. If you don't preset, if you don't know what presets are, and if you do know what they are, and you don't know how to use them, I'll show you to do both of those things today. So basically, what you want to do is take your folder of presets. I'm just going to um, select all the preset stuff, just the presets, because that's basically what you need. Um, let's get all these videos out here. So these are all the presets, and um, basically what we're going to do is open up File Explorer, go down to your drive, go to Program Files, Adobe, After Effects CC, Support Files, uh, well it really depends on what After Effects you're using, but then you want to go to Presets, and there will be all these folders except for probably this one and this one, yeah. and. Um, Basically, you could go in one, that's where I put most of our presets, or you could just do it here. Basically, what you need to do is you need to make a new folder, and you'll probably have to do this if you have security or whatever. And uh, basically, what I do is just name it like presets, or like preset pack, and then just have that folder right there. And you want to drag all this stuff in. Uh, I don't know what I'm, why I'm doing that. I'll just drag it back because I don't want to lose it. But yeah, once you drag that in, you're going to want to open up After Effects after you drag that stuff in. And then it'll load your presets when you start it up. And um, the more presets you have, the longer it'll take After Effects to load. But yeah. So basically, um, now that you have your presets in your folder, I'm going to show you how to use them. So uh, this little shot I hit online the other day. A little select fire yy wall bang um so i'm gonna go right back to where we get that barrel shot uh, all right right there so now what we're gonna do is hit control alt and then y on your keyboard and you should come up with an adjustment layer here basically what an adjustment layer is if you don't know it's basically something that you can put effects on where it doesn't put it directly on the clip it just puts it on something above where you can edit it, you can take it off, whatever, without affecting the clip below. Um, oh, I just lost it again. Alright, there we go. So basically what you want to do is drag this as short as possible, or basically just a couple seconds, two or three seconds, whatever. And there are two, if you look on your keyboard right to the right of the P, there are two little brackets. You're going to want to hit the left bracket, and that'll put it to the right of your needle, or... Hit the right bracket and I'll put it on the other side. Basically what I want to do is hit the left bracket in this case so that our adjustment layer starts right after our shot and then goes down to once we want it to like stop, which I want to stop it like right here. Um, basically to find that, um, that gun, muzzle, shot, whatever, you use these things. These are the, yeah, these are the uh, frame by frame. So basically what I want to do is go over to effects and presets. If you don't have this, you can go up to like window, click that, and then you could like put it somewhere. Or you could just go to workspace, um, then you just go to effects, and this is what should pop up. So basically you go to this effects and presets tab, click on animation presets, like a drop down arrow. If you uh, put it in the custom presets thing where I have most of mine, it'll be in there. Or it'll be right here. Um... You could name it whatever you want, and I'm just going to use this uh, one right here as an example. So you can have all your presets in here once you open it up, and um, once you find one, um, basically what you do, all you do is drag it onto the adjustment layer. So here I'll find an RGB split right here, and I'll drag it onto the adjustment layer. And as you can see, it does have the effect on it, and basically you can just uh, put these preset um, things on every shot so you don't have to custom do all this stuff you can um, just get them like pre preset made so won't have any volume I don't know why but I'll just play it right here for you guys so as you can see we have a little RGB shot right there um, it's not really noticeable so um, 
I might drag some else on. These are just my layers. You can put as much stuff on here as you want. Um, so maybe I'll put a glitch on here as well. Let's make it look a little cooler. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll just put a separate RGB thing on it. So You can also search them up here. If you have a ton of presets and you just know what you're looking for. So I'll just do this twist shot. And also another thing is, guys, you may not have all the plugins for all this stuff, like Twitch, uh, Magic Bullet Looks, all this stuff. So if you don't have that stuff, um, you may need to get it. It'll say it'll have a little thing that says, like, when you look on these, you can go to this effect controls thing up here, and you can um, see like if it, it's like whatever layer you're on, it'll show you the effects that are already on this. And um, it it would say missing, and then have a colon, and then have whatever the plugin is. You can X out of After Effects, and then look up how to get it for free, and all that stuff. Yeah, but basically that's it. And um, you could just duplicate this layer by hitting Control D. Um, oh wait up. Click on the layer. My bad. And um, you could just hit Control A and delete all this stuff off, and you could just copy this blank layer. So every time you wanted to put in a, um, what's it called, you can just do this and put whatever effects you want on it. But basically that's it guys, and that's how to use presets in After Effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe and like the video and comment if it helped you. And I'm Ben and I'm out. Peace.